We have a we have a super fun build today though for Sadako. Uh, it does have a little bit of regression. With Merciless Storm, whenever a generator reaches 90%, survivors working on it are going to be faced with continuous skill checks. It's easy to get once you kind of learn it, but it can't. It kind of forces you to stay on the gen. With that, we're going to go with Tinkerer. This will let us know when a survivor is almost done with the gen. And then we're going with Pop Goes Weasel and the Brine combo. That way, after we get it down, we can hit that gen that's either been Tinkerered or has Merciless Storm proc on it. And we can really pressure that out. All right. Let's see what we got. Again, the idea is to get Merciless Storm, Tinkerer to proc, Merciless Storm, and then like a nasty little pop and brine combo for some uh, massive slowdowns. Did you walk right past me? I just didn't see you. Guess so, huh? Do you have a vault? Yeah. Let's get rid of it real quick. Nice. All right. I'm over this. Who's here? Let's start getting some of these condemns going. Got some distance on me. This distance should be enough to maybe get her to... Uh, oh, yeah. That's a nasty little setup, isn't it? Nothing here. There's no point in chasing Shaq early on. If I chase Shaq early on, we're just throwing the game already. And that's uh, already pretty rough. Cool. Hi. Hi. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Maybe something. Ooh, she didn't keep running this way. All right. That's the risk sometimes you run with uh, using teleport place. Might get her, but she'll probably dead hard this then. Damn. Is that a double tinkerer? I think so. No, it's not. Cool. That's two survivors here. All right. Let's see. Let's get rid of the pallet real quick. Nice. Just the tip. But what do you remake Sadako into? At least B tier? Not even close. She's, uh, at the moment, probably closer to C or D. I see. That's unfortunate. Injured. Nice. We caught her off guard. There's a skill check missed there, too. Which really helps out. So this is where we start to really bring her in. Now we can use Pop and Brine and maybe start chaining that around. There goes the boon. I have to find out where that boon is and take care of it in a second. Okay. Maybe over here by Shaq. No. Alright, there's the boon. Good. I can get rid of the boon. That way I can help hopefully mitigate some of this pressure that we currently are having on us. Cool. Bring out some more Condemn real quick. And let's go ahead and spread a hit here. Nice. Now, where's this survivor? Like, what gen are they on now? It's going to be the question. Michaela might set up the boon again, though. There's, like, a few locations they could go to. The other Claudette could come back into this gen, too. That's unfortunate. That's two jungle gems down. This map is pretty notorious for spawning a lot of jungle gems, so this is going to be pretty difficult. We'll see what we can do here. I'd like to get a quick down. I just don't know if it's going to be uh, possible here at the moment. That's Shaq. I actually don't mind letting Shaq go, but unfortunately we're playing in uh, Safe Haven Central over here. She's pre-dropping them, which is fine, but unfortunately there's so many uh, pallets on this map, you pretty much can pre-drop them all and be totally okay. They didn't miss any of their skill checks, which is fine. Got the fast vault. I always thought that was a weird angle to be able to snag that fast vault. Can I maybe do a teleport play here? We'll try in a second. Does she go up? Yeah, she does. Cool. All 
Oh, I hate that play. She's trying to get a hit from these guys. Oh no. They won't take it. Alright. We'll get the hook. Let's go ahead and turn around and head over here. See if we can maybe scare them off this gen. Okay. Cool. The problem with the teleport that we have right here, by the way, is the teleport gives them enough time, typically, to get over to uh, the shack, which is a real problem. And the spoon hurting our uh, chase potential at the moment. All right. Nice. Yeah, we're getting rid of pallets pretty quick, so we shouldn't. We have a chance to bring the game back. Fortunately, this is another very, very safe pallet. But she has dead heart if she makes a mistake. Yeah. I just want to eat it. I don't want to respect it in case she got greedy. Okay. Oh, that went over here and healed up. Did they get like another boon set up? But that also went into hiding, which tells me spine chill. Okay, let's head over here and push them off this. Ooh, you know what? Let me tempt fate. Let's brine this. Ch fake chase it. Come back here. Grab her real quick. Maybe look for the pop play afterwards. Oh, the gen's almost done now, too. And there's going to be numerous survivors there. Nice. They missed it. Good for us. We can go for a quick hit here. Maybe pop the gen to our left. There goes the save. How important is it to protect that gen is the question. I can pop this. They go over there. I trigger a uh, storm on that maybe. Ah, the wrong one. Damn it. Or teleport sometimes. Nice. There we go. The survivor's out of the game, so. A little bit of power on that. See if we can get them to mess up. All right. Oh my gosh, dude. So many tinkerers. All three gens right now have tinker on them. Okay. Nice. We're here with a little outplay there. Maybe a quick hookup. Good. Let's give us pop. There we go. Pop and Brian on this. We can go ahead and put Brian over here as well. Brian's on the other gen there. I don't know if I can do anything. They did get a boon set up. Let's go ahead and see if we can maybe catch that boon. I'm guessing it's the same one they've done all game. It is. This boon has gotten so much value. It makes things very difficult. All right. That's where the pop and Brian went. That was very fast. The survivor right here. Nice. That's what you get for camping pallets, honestly. Gen efficiency. Gonna get her killed. Alright. Now let's get the pop here. Brian's still on this. Brian's still on that. Good. And we'll check over here real quick. Nice. Brian's done a number to that. These guys might be resetting. Okay. No progress on that. Let's head back here. Good. I see. You guys went over here instead. Hello. How you doing? I have a TV coming up. Now. Ah, darn, man. I can't tell which way the TVs are facing sometimes. It really bothers me. All right. Is there any value here? This is a person who's dead. I have a TV there. Maybe I can play around that TV in a second. 
Let's uh let's chase this out. Darn. Okay. Hi. What's going on? All right, they might go heal again. Hit this as well. Thought that will use your sprint burst? No sprint burst. Crazy. But she actually faked that really well. All right, let's hit her. Get them to go heal again. Run back to the pallet. Actually, I might force this if I feel that they're going to heal. That might be a better call. It's riskier, but there's not a lot of pallets over here. He does give me pop. So they might... I might... Yeah, they both healed up. So taking the chance to get for this is uh, probably more valuable at the moment. There goes the dead hard. What would Dead by Daylight be without it? They might both be on it, so... This is her first tug, so it's not the best, but it'll do. Cool. Hitting lots of good skill checks. There goes the pop. We'll get Brian on this as well. Again, we're trying to get these to regress the whole time. Let's go. Could be dead hard. Yeah, okay. Could have decisive strike though, so it's not really worth picking up and finding out at the moment. We already lost our one gen. We can use her there at the moment to maybe create some pressure though. The other survivor did run off this way. They're gonna have to deal with their tape soon. Okay. Good. The other survivor's over here, too. There we go. Got everyone injured. That survivor's going to DC, of course. Why not? Ah, dude. It's so easy to read. That's the one problem I hate about uh, Sadako Cellport. It is super easy to read. It's not like Freddy's where you can fake it and uh, actually get value off of the fake. All right. Ignore that for now. I'll go over there in a second, but I do want to make sure that we're not losing a gen for it, you know? We'll just make Brian, make sure Brian's and everything. And then we'll start moonwalking to some of these. Maybe catch off a survivor, uh, survivor with a uh, spine chill. Hi. All right. Looks like she is giving up. Okay. Makes sense. We'll go ahead and just uh, end it then. Makes sense. Hi. They're on that gen. Makes sense. They didn't move away. So they're still back here. Cool. I'll take double here. Oh, we got an AFK. Feels bad. Oh, no, he's here. He's just looking around. Maybe his spine shield was acting up, so he was trying to look for me? I don't know. I see. If I can walk over here rather than use my teleport, I will. Nice. That's everyone injured. That's a lot. That is a lot of pressure. Which area do I want to run to here? Here? Or do we think the other side? Let's try let's try this. There goes the boon. Okay. Let me see if I can get it down first. Then we'll go for the boon. Ooh, I just heard her too. Damn. All right, let's head back here, get rid of the boon. Mess with him maybe a little bit.
Can I get rid of Jack? He dead hearts to the window, right? Yeah. Nice. Dead hearts to the window really helps us out there. Did they take a tape out? They took a tape out. Okay. Well, that's good. Another boom was placed. They moved it away from here. All right. Let's swing out over here. He was almost healed. I don't want to teleport around everywhere just yet. Okay. Let's do this. Darn. So close. That's how strong boons are, by the way. Oh. Even after I noticed it was up right away and tried playing around it, man. Crazy. All right. Let's go pop this. I don't think they have a lot of pressure, and I want to use pop. Do you have to use Sloppy and Than together always? Oh, no, not really. All right. Much for the dead heart. Good. And let's swing out this way. Of course, we'll play around with this. I have a while. Oof, not enough. Nice. We'll take our hit there. We'll go for the pickup here in a second. Nice. I think now's a good time. So, here in a second, they're going to get a Tinkerer proc. Ooh, that's not lucky. I was hoping maybe he'd hopped on a gen. I guess not, though. That's fine. Do I have my teleport there? I do. Cool. Looks like she moved off for a second. Let's see. We'll take that. The other survivor went off over there. Makes sense. I have a teleport there. Hold up. Let's do this. Boom. Hit the teleport. Ooh. That's something we weren't expecting. Lots of dead hearts. But we just play around it. Nice. All right. Hopefully, Brian helps us out a little bit here. And then we need to get rid of that boon again. You don't know how the devs thought Circle of Pima was a good idea because they don't understand how killers generate pressure in this game. It's a big flaw of theirs for sure. Nice. All right. Pop and brine this. Drop. Good. We get rid of a really strong pallet. Do I have anything else? Okay. I'll run her on the L wall then. I can always circle the L wall as much as I need to there. Just to make sure she can't get out back to the open. Which one? Okay. Only one survivor can be here, by the way. So they won't be able to pop that tinkerer before I get here. It just won't happen. Nice. And there we go. Merciless Storm will block it off just in case. Ooh. I don't know about that, but hey, we'll take it. Let's just get rid of the pallet then. Good. Kind of rolling these guys. Yeah, again, it's, it's simply about a lot of Sadako's weaknesses simply come from like map layouts in the uh, early game. As long as you get a decent early game going with Sadako, she feels great. That's again, that's the worst part. A good group that's more gen efficient or spread out will have a tremendous uh, advantage on you. That's why there's always a risk when you don't run corrupt intervention. Hi, dude. Cool. How oh, am I pretty good? I'm breakable. Fair enough. Stop playing killer for like two seasons and you're rusty. Oh man, the real struggles. So they went back and started working on this gen. I can completely obliterate it now. Remember how close it was to being done, right? Another 25%. Alright, let's go ahead and get condemn on them. Okay. I think I went to the wrong one. Yeah, I did. Whoops. Someone was here, thankfully. 
The nice thing as well is that, uh... Ooh, do I got anything here? That hard? No. I actually, like, risked that, by the way. Oh. Thank, thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, she doesn't have a flashlight. I was like, oh, no. You're taking a break. You're not enjoying DVD right now. I understand. A lot of people have taken breaks. Probably healthy. Uh, Skewy, thank you so much for the follow. Maybe a few more good changes in the game will help turn it around here in the next uh, few months. But surprisingly enough, the changes haven't been horrible. That's one of the nice... <laughs> It's one of the cool things that's kind of funny about the game. MMR is the thing that's been killing people's enjoyment. While as, like, the game itself has, uh, had quite a lot of positive improvements. Fair enough. We're at least gonna make her, you know, use her borrow time. I guess I could have played around it. Like, went around. Nice. We chase around L wall here, by the way. Ooh. Can I? Yeah, I guess I can do that. Oh, that's fine. I don't really need to pop that. So let's go ahead and pick up real quick. <clears throat> can Call of Brian activate on more than one gen? Yes. So Call of Brian can act on, activate on any time you kick a gen. Yeah. That gen will begin regressing yeah. at 200 or ruin speed value. Now, it will not work with perks like Jolt or Oppression, but it can be a nice little way of, like, say you have, like, a survivor cook, uh, hooked, hooked. If you have a survivor hooked near, like, a really solid gen that's, like, almost done, you can hook them and then pseudo camp the area until you get some regression or force of play. It's a good three gen perk, in a sense. Okay. If he takes this vault, I think we just rotate him this way. Still gets there. The problem with the TNLs overall. All right, let's rotate him here. Dead hard. There it goes. He dead hard into the wall there. That way he could uh, glide against it because he thought the pallet was still up. Okay. Ooh, you're lucky that... Yeah, okay. Drop. Thank you. He has to drop it there. That ultimate gen defense video was hectic. You give props for the 4K. Thank you. It seemed like a lot of people actually liked it, which I was surprised. I didn't think a singular game with, like, would be the, you know, the fun one. Nice. Another survivor down. Let's go ahead and pop this. And oof. Over there. I don't have anything. They must have pulled it. Oh well, hello. Fair enough. I'll break it. We're in the end, you know, end game now, so I like that. A little Avengers throwback. That's why you can't get medium vaults. They're pretty much about as useful as slow vaulting. That iron. Nice. We don't make things too obvious here. How did she stay here? Oh. Cool. If she if she would have left like a really far away, I probably would have uh, 
played around it a little bit more. Yeah. Damn. Oh, very quick pickup. Or is that an unbreakable? I thought we already had, saw unbreakable. Did we not? Dude, so many TNLs here, by the way. That was an unbreakable play. Damn. Dead hard, unbreakable. She'll run around it. Like she's eventually bound to. Another pal is over here, though. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, why not? Like, you can pre drop pretty much everything. There's a boon over here, I see. Well, I don't want you to heal up too much there, Michaela. And into TNL Central we go. Heidi Ho. And there's Michaela. Still kind of want it, to be honest with you. We'll rotate her here then. My worry is that she might be able to get the dead hard. But that was really good fake. Dead hard? Yeah. I was worried that she would, if we rotate her this way, she would dead hard to that vault, which would have made way more sense. It'll be, uh, yeah. Probably tonight. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.